What's up guys and welcome to another episode of Coffee Break. We're already on number seven and today we're going to be rolling in the Audi Q5 Quattro four-wheel drive, four-cylinder, about 275 horsepower uh, SUV. Coming from a city where they kill a lot, yeah. Pop a lot of pills and don't feel a lot. Don't feel a lot. Influenced by rappers who don't keep it real a lot. Uh, construction pay more than the drug game. You better compared to the other vehicles, the other SUVs that we've been driving, it's a little bit different, a little bit smaller. But come with me, let's go talk about it. We're at a nice little spot. It's a little rainy outside, so we had to come underground to be able to showcase the car a little bit without getting drenched. But this is the Audi Q5, 19 inch rims, um, LED lights in the front, right? The infamous rings that Audi has with their grill, right? A pretty decent sized grill. Um, it's, it's, it's pretty dope, right? It's small, compact, like it's equivalent almost the feel like of a Nissan Rogue to be honest, you know, but this just has a lot of more bells and whistles inside the car as far as like technology and certain features, better quality of leather and stuff. But this car, it has a smooth ride compared to the X7 and the Maserati, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's totally different. The ride is smooth, but as far as like performance and power, is it, it's not there, right? It does have some power, but it's, it's not much. Like we're talking about 275 horsepower compared to the 350s and 400 horsepower uh, SUVs, right? It's all wheel drive, which is good, but it's a good car if you want to get into it. You don't want to spend too much money. You know, I'm getting a Maserati or an X7, you know what I mean? You can settle for one of these, which is nice and decent. I believe the price range is about from 40 to 45 uh, starting 40, 45,000 starting for the regular premium package. It uses Android Auto CarPlay, which is dope. So the navigational system inside is, is okay. It's a small little tiny screen. But overall, the car is pretty cool. It's a fun ride to, um, uh, it's a fun car to ride. And the, the, the trunk space is, is pretty good as well. So if you look at the, the trunk space, there's things already in here, but to give you some perspective, like you can see that there's still a lot more space to put in luggage. It's for uh, two, three, four, five seater. Has the power um, trunk, which closes right there. You know what I mean? The exhaust systems are hidden within these, you know, the moldings right here on the side, which, you know, a lot of cars are doing, BMW is doing the exact same thing, um, but, Overall, it's a, it's a cool SUV, and we got somebody cool that we're gonna be interviewing, and like every coffee break, you know, we always have somebody that it's local, a local rap artist, a local artist who draws or whatever. If you haven't seen the other episodes, I advise you to go check them out, man. Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, let us know what you think about the, the videos and who you would like to see on a coffee break episode. But we're gonna be picking up a buddy of mine called C4. If you don't know who he is, put pause on this video right now. Go check him out on Instagram and then press play again so we can go pick him up, have a nice little cup of coffee at a coffee shop and get to know him a little bit more. But before we go there, there has been one little thing that has like, it's like tedious to me with this car. Imagine you going out, nice little restaurant, got your wife, you know, your husband or whatever it is, park your car, and you lock the doors, and like every car you want to lock it, right? And you hear this sound right here. I don't know, I, I don't know if you heard it, but when, you, when I heard this sound when I locked the doors, I said, what the heck is that? Like, what, what is that? Like, it doesn't make sense. But dude, that joint just like took me off for some reason. It didn't even have a nicer one, like a nicer tone. But 
that's my down that that's that's like my 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 pet peeve for this little car right now but then again let's go out to this coffee break because it's not about this little but it's about the person we're going to be interviewing so let's get at it let's get at it let's get into the coffee break episode and like every other thing that we always say never settle with being good when you have been dead Never settle with being good when you've been meant to be great. Let's get it. C4. Uh. A couple hard lessons from my rough past on my life flash. Almost died inside that truck crash, dangling from the seatbelt, laid on the crushed glass, heard the ambulance sirens. Lucky they rushed fast. Look, I made a left, it was my final destination. The angel formed as a human savior. I ain't get to thank him. Came out, touching my body, confused that I could walk. Who would've knew and would've seen mama way sooner than I thought, yeah. They try to ask me how I'm handling that. I say I'm cool, you hear the damage in that? Just the other day, the doctor put EKGs over my chest. I'll be right there in, in literally like in three minutes. I just got off the exit. All right, bro, cool. All right, cool? Yeah. All right, bro. All right, later. You. What's up, brother? Let's get with it. So comfortable, put the seat back. You know what I'm yeah, saying? I, like, I see, I was walking like, yo. Audi got a fire. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, we're about to head out of here. We got a guy right here, C4, written by C4, your yeah, very yeah. own. Yeah. You know what I mean? We're gonna grab some, some cafecito now and um, um, just head out and get to know him a little bit more, man. You know what I mean? Like, this is a. Uh, it's been a, a long time coming to, to connect with this dude and, and just get, you know, a little bit more information as to who he is, what he's about, you know, and, and what he's doing. But um, he's here with us today. I'm kind of excited about it too, bro. Yeah, me too, man. Yeah, so um, we about to flex it in this little coffee shop, man, and just talk and just break bread for a little while, you know what I mean? So, um, so we're here, stay tuned, keep riding with us, because we're gonna head to the coffee shop now and um and do what we do best so keep watching keep watching and keep rolling with us let me paint these pictures and yo we used to taste the liquor that we play with strippers so how i'm gonna be a good example to my baby sisters y'all probably know me from my past and my twisted raps how every verse i took somebody cat twisted back the barrel spinning twisted metal like sweet tooth i was buried in my sins i had We're here with another Coffee Break episode, but this time we got my guy written by C4. We're already on episode number seven. This is the seventh episode. I'm excited that we've been able to come this far as far as, you know, doing these, doing these episodes. We're again here at Common Grounds, which has been our common shop to have some coffee. Right here, I got a cappuccino with a little bit of nice frothy right there. What you got right there? Bro? We got the hot chocolate with the whipped cream on it. You know? We're just missing a little bit cherry, but we got cinnamon and stuff. But I'm kind of excited that, that we're here today, man. Yo, bro, how you been, bro? What's really good with you? I'm good, bro. Thanks for having me. Yeah, you know man. I mean? Everything is all good, man. Just working on this music project I'm working on. Reading my word. Yep. This relationship with God I'm working on. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? How, so. how has that been? Like, I, I, I know from the last, you know, we connect, when we first connected, I remember you were telling me that you were, you know what I'm saying, you were, you were getting yourself on track as far as, like, finding yourself with God. Yes. Like, how, how has that process been? It's, it's definitely been a, a, a process. But... Everything since then has definitely have increased. My reading has increased. Yeah. My studies have increased. The people God's been bringing around me has been increasing. You know what I mean? So, so when 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 God came to your life, like how 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 was that? Like people that are watching you right now, that they're like, oh wow, okay, so he 
he's Christian, but they also know you. Like, let's say some of your friends who are watching this that maybe know you before you accepted Christ or before you had a relationship of faith with God, you know what I mean? Like, how was, how was that process? Well, for the people that know me, they, you know, they, they, they know, you know, just like all of us, we all been through some things, yeah. you know. Um, for me, you know, God has, I've always had someone in my life that, you know, that believed in God, you know, wholeheartedly. I know sometimes, you know, um, you know, as kids, we'll have quote unquote Christians in our life, but they might not really be representing it to, to the, you know, the fullest. Yep. So sometimes that leaves like a bad taste, you know, in their mouth. But me, I've had some people that, you know, were really, you know, for God, right. you know, so as I come into adulthood and going through the things, you know, I've, I've gone through, I've always believed in God. I just wanted to live my own way. Right. But like I said, as I, I was going through life, I realized I need to stop playing. Right. You know, because I've always, I believe, I believe, you know, in heaven and hell. I believe, I believe in those things. So, I know it's only a matter of time. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like, yo, I need to stop. It's not even about that being scared of, right. of hell or stuff like that. Yeah. But it's like, yo, I really need a relationship yeah. with God. I believe that he's real. I just right. don't have a relationship with him. Yep. Man, man, you know, and it's like we all go through all, like in life, life throws so many different, you know, wrenches on our road, you know what I mean? And sometimes God is always trying to look for us also and we just like put the, you know, blind eye to it. But um, I'm glad you were able to, to get yourself because I know your life hasn't been easy. Everybody got their own story, you know what I'm saying, of, of what they're dealing with and going through and stuff. But um, prior to that, you were before faith, before like, getting yourself grounded with God, you've always been a hip hop artist, right? You, 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 you've always, always been always, about always, that life, always, always, you know? Always. So, so now how has been the transition with about that, yo, I'll kill your moms, I'll kill your pops, I'll kill, you know what I'm saying? I definitely, <laughs> rather, I'll definitely, <laughs> rather, I'll definitely rather, rather, I'll definitely killing people's moms than that. You know, so. How, how, how has that been? Let me tell you, so, when, 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 um, when I, when I came, like, all right, God, like, I'm gonna stop playing, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna live this life for you. You know, that, that was like the first, I, got, I gotta get this right. But when it started coming to my music, I have a very particular style, you know, I come from battle rap, I come from talking reckless, I almost felt like, how can I rap right. about God, and you know what I mean, how, how can I do this, you know, and it wasn't until, you know, I just tried it out, just started going to the studio, just finding what my style is, and, and to be honest with you, like, I, I realized that, you know, I could still rap. Not, not talking reckless, but still keep that aggression, still keep the way that I rap right. and represent God. Right. You know, almost like deliverance rap in a right, way right. like that. You know no, what I mean? No, I like that. Yeah. And you know, I, you know, I don't remember the particular verse, but um, you know, we're all different parts of the body. You know what I mean? Like, there's some people that's gonna, and per pertaining to rap, there's some people that's gonna deliver it one way. There's gonna be other people that you know that sing, that do yeah. stuff like, like I could keep my style. Yeah. You know. And keep going. Yeah. Yeah, have you ever found yourself like, you know, rapping for God and, and, and you're writing the bars, but then you're like, damn, this word that I used to use before, it used to go so well with my, with my verses, you know what I'm saying? And now you find, you, do you find yourself like having to like skew some, some words that you were constantly used to, you know, doing? You know what's crazy? I feel like God has made that painless for me. Oh, wow, amen. Because I was very, you know, I cursed like every other like bar, and you know what I mean. I said, you know what I mean, and bro, no, no problem. That, that was just easy. That was a very easy transition. I don't even have a problem with not cursing, using yeah. profanity, and nothing like yeah. that. There, there is no struggle with that because you know I rap all my life in my teen years. Of my, I didn't, I didn't curse in my rap. Okay. I didn't curse, and then when I got in my twenties, I started cursing. You know, I'm gonna rap like that. Then mommy will give you that pop yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I waited till I got old enough so nobody could say nothing to yeah. me. <laughs> no, but, but that's cool. Man. So when I started, you know, writing, you know, raps for the Lord or just for my, my, my you know, my worldview. Yeah. You know, I, I cut it and it's been painless and it still comes across how I need it, you know, come across. That's, that, that's good. So you see, like, it's like, you can do music, right? Sometimes people think that, oh, I can't, I can't do music without cursing, you know what I'm saying? It's possible you could do music that, that's good, that's, 
that's powerful, that still keeps that that gulliness, you know what I'm saying, to, to your stuff, you know what I mean, the way you want to keep it. Because I've, I've always been about just like hip hop, hip hop, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about like the, the big puns, you know what I'm saying? The Jadas and, and you know what I mean? That they were just all, that for me, that was like hip hop. So, and even though I didn't, I didn't like grow up like listening to like hardcore hip hop, my brother was. And, um, and then I used to hate music, to be honest, like hip hop music. Until God just did something in my life, bro, where it just like did a 180. My brother could attest to that if you're watching for this. You know, shout out to my brother who who really was like always listening to that with the little cassettes, you know, putting them to play. So, um, but that sparked a lot of things after a while. I was like, you know what, I like, this is the type of hip hop I like, you know what I mean, the music. Uh, I'm, I'm similar in that, in that way, bro. When I, when, I was, when I was younger, I didn't like rap too much. Really? I like the Backstreet Boys. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Great. Remember that war? Like, who's better in sync yeah. of the Backstreet Boys? I'm like, Backstreet Boys. That's where I'm at with it. Really? I was like, like five years old. I never forget my mom taking me to the cassette store. Yeah. I feel old saying that, but the cassettes. I don't know. I'm like, I need that. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. I mean, that's what I like. But I have a whole like, even like a, a theory of like rap and singing. Like, I, I, I feel like when it comes to rap, not even to just get off yeah. chords, but I feel like rap. I believe rap is a talent, right. but I also feel like you can learn how to rap. Mm. I feel like if you're under the right people, they could teach you if, if you have rhythm. But mm. I feel like singing. I like that. I feel like singing, like you can't learn how to sing. Right. You know what I mean? Like singing is when you hear singing, it's a gift. Vocal. It's, it's a vocal. gift. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it, it is a gift. You know what I mean? So I've always like, you know, just, you know, singers, r and I'm really, I love yeah. R&B. You know what okay. I mean? I just, I just like, I listen oh, to more R&B than rap. That's interesting, bro. I, I like that. That's something new I learned about you right now. You know what I'm saying? Um, but um, that's that's pretty dope to to see that the the difference between there. You know what I mean? It's it's kind of cool. So what do you? So now that you you transition yourself, you know what I'm saying? From from it not rapping for God or not rapping, you know what I'm saying? Like in in this whole faith-based type of thing, and now you are rapping faith-based. Yes. Like, what is your goals right now? Like, what what are you working on? Like, people that are watching you that that are just like seeing you drop stuff on Instagram, and yeah. you know, in these these car, you know, you're in the car, you're at work, you know, what I'm saying you're on the ground, but you still right there just re reminiscing on so much different things. Like, yeah. what is what what you got going on now that, or or at least what are you preparing yourself for? I'm preparing myself for this project I'm working on. It's called Since We Last Spoke. You know, um, Since We Last Spoke is uh, probably gonna make it a series every few years to drop it. It's basically like an update of where I am in my life right mm, now. I like that. So since we last spoke, the last time people heard me you know, on a project, I was, I was rapping for the world. Right. You know, my last project, I wouldn't say it was too crazy. I'm pretty like, you know, I've always rapped from the heart. You know what I mean? I have a lot of just insightful stuff in my worldly project. But uh, since we last spoke, man, and uh, basically my mu my music, the, the 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 theme of the project, I would say is like, yo, I found God. I'm from the places y'all from. Come, <laughs> let me tell you what, this, what 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 this what Jesus did for me. What my life is about now. Amen. But I'm still keeping it. I'm still rapping. You know what I mean? Like yeah. from the naked eye, like you'll be like, oh, he's he's still rapping like the world. That's not true. Like right. you just have to listen to what right. it is that the I'm lyrics, saying. Right, of course. But That's you tough. know, my delivery is very much the same. So people who like that, you know, that kind of style for that, you know, and the yeah. people who've been listening to me, my friends that've been listening to me, you know what I mean? They 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 want to, you know, they want to hear that. That's it, bro. And you you're just gonna be another tool, another vessel that God is gonna use to be able to reach those friends. You know what I'm saying? That that have been hiding. You know what I mean? And that haven't been too much. Um. um you know, like, a little bit afraid. Maybe them, they could probably be afraid to step into this world, you know what I mean? But you're gonna be able to guide them and, you know, based on your testimony, they know your lifestyle from before, you know what I mean? So it's it's, yeah. it's kind of cool. But funny, funny enough, man, they, they've been definitely, you know, hitting me up, you know what I mean? Like, you know, a lot of them say they don't believe in God, but I, I learn, start to see, you know, when things get a little rough, yeah. you could pray for me. Right, you right. Know, they, 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 you know, they, there's, there's something different in me mm -hmm. that, that, that they see. You know what I mean? Not even like down in nothing, nobody, yeah. anything like that. Yeah. But you know, that, that's just what it is. Like, they, they, they're like, yo, he got some hope in him. There's something like different in him. Yeah. Because like you said, they, they knew me. They right. knew me. They knew me. There was, there was no hope. You know what I mean? My hope was to make it big in the rap game. Right. You know what I mean? That's not really my hope anymore. It's something I would like. I would like to happen. 
Yeah, you know what I mean? But whatever, whatever God wants. I, I just, this is just a tool. I don't want to just be a Christian that raps. I just want to be a, a, a well-rounded Christian right. in, in all, all areas. Yeah, and, like be that, used, yeah. and be used in a bunch of different areas, not just be a, known as a Christian. Yeah, so I like that, bro. I, I, like, I like where your head is at right now. I like where you're going. Um, the project, there you go. Straight from, from the mouth of C4, you know, he got a project coming out since we last spoke. Since we last spoke um, got some, you know, information. I'm going to put it in the description of the video where you can, you know, see his Instagram, his, his YouTube channel, if he's going to create one or whatnot. But all his information, you, are you on Spotify and all that stuff like that? Or that's I, 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 I have a Spotify, but from my worldly music. Okay. I haven't released nothing yet. All right, but that's coming. Out, yeah, but that's, that's coming. That's coming, so stay tuned, man, for a lot of good stuff. But I, I, like, I like this because people get to see the growth, you know? And that's why I'm a big fan of interviews because like, when you can rock with somebody from the beginning and see where, where God has been taking them or, or what walk of life God has been able to take them out from, it shows a, a lot about you. It shows a lot about your character. And it also shows to all your friends who are going to be watching this from Newark. Shout out to Newark, New Jersey, New York City, stand up. You know what I'm saying? All those who are watching. But they're going to be able to see like, damn, you know what? Like, this dude is real, bro. You know what I'm saying? It, this is not just a talk talk. No. This is a, a, a walk talk. You know what I'm saying? Like, you really talking about it, but you about it as well. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I like that because, you know, I think a lot of people need to see more young people standing up and be like, you know what? Like, I got to get my life right, you know? And I thank God that you also took the opportunity to say, you know what, I got I to gotta change my life. You know, I can't keep doing this, you know? Yeah. So, you know, I, I like where, where you've been going and, and um, um, what God has been doing in your life, bro, since we last spoke, you know, even, you know what I mean? Yeah, ever since then, you know, I, I see what, what you've been doing and pulling out. And I'm like, man, this is so amazing what God has been doing in your life, you yeah. know? So um, um, you're in church. You're definitely in, in, in a church, right? Your church. Um, every Sunday. Every Sunday. <laughs> CCBOC if you're in Connecticut. Actually, CCBOC <laughs> in Connecticut. Shout out to Pastor Elo, uh, who has been discipling this young man and um, um, and a lot of young people that, that he's been able to, to reach and touch, man. Yeah, shout out to him. Just real quick, before I started going to uh, his church, when, when I told God, I right, God, I'm uh, I'm gonna take you serious. I was going to another church somewhere else, going on, you know what I mean? Yeah. And um, I didn't feel like I was growing, you know what I mean? It was it was also like a really big church. Yeah. You know what I mean? I feel like a big church is, you know, it's easy to get lost in a sea of members. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you know, I, just, I felt like I needed to find a different church. Um. So I eat at a diner, you know, near near my church. I drove, always drive. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go to that church. I prayed on it for a week. I did research on the church. I found the picture of the pastor. I looked at him. <laughs> and then I was like, I'm gonna go. So and I, and I, and I, like Fat Joe for some reason. Yeah, yeah Kingpin. Yeah, Kingpin. Hey. <laughs> so so I, I, I went and right at the gate, man, open arms, you know what I mean? And, and, and I feel like, you know, I've grown a lot being there. Like, um, you know, me and the, me and my pastor have a relationship. Yeah, like I good. could just call him and talk to him. You know, he calls me, checks up on me every, every time he he's going somewhere locally or maybe a few states away. He, he invites me. You know what I mean? To go with him, yep. I get to see how other Christians, you know, you know, are different churches and yep. all of that stuff. So yeah, that's yeah. cool, man. Shout out to him. That's that's, that's yeah, all I man. Want. I, I love Pastor Elo, man. Um. um Shout out to Joseph SD, that's his father, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, that's, that family is awesome. Um, but yeah, bro, I'm, I'm actually excited, bro. I'm, I'm just, I love to see, you know what I'm saying, and hear about, you know, people doing new things, bro. And it, especially things for God, you know what I'm saying, that, that are in that, in that right direction of just, you know, doing something bigger than themselves, you know? Um, but yeah, bro, I, I appreciate you. I appreciate you taking the time. You know what I mean? For us to, to connect and, and, and vibe out and rock out, you know what I mean? If there's anything that you want to tell your fans that are watching right now, you know what I'm saying, that, that have been with you since day one, those who are in the faith and those who are out of the faith, what do you want to let them know like right now, you know what I mean, that if they watch this video? For those in the faith, because I noticed when um, I started confessing Jesus in my music, my page jumped up like 700 followers, man, in like, wow. like two months. Like, just a lot of... Uh, inspiration a lot of motivation in my dms man 
And what I want to say to them is, look, we all got to represent. I'm going to do my part, and I hope what I do inspires you. You know what I mean? It motivates you. For my, for, my, for my homies and the people that follow me that, that don't uh, believe in God, you know what I mean? There's a lot of, there's a lot of hoopla, there's a lot of, there is a lot of um, false misrepresentations of Jesus. There is a lot of that. And you know, what I would encourage you, it's, it's okay to do your research, man, but just know that there's, there, there, there's, there's somewhere, you know, in the middle, there's, there's, there's the truth and then there's the lie, man. Study, right. all, study all of it. Yeah. Study both, study both, both, both sides, of, you know, the spectrum and ask God, you know what I mean? Because the, the Bible is not, you know, just a, 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 a man-made book, as mm. some people would say, you know what I mean? Mm. If, 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 when you read it, when you read, when you read the word of God, ask God. To reveal, to reveal things to you, help you read it because there's gonna be some things in there. If, uh, if a non, I get into so many like debates, and I try not to get into too much debates, but you know, I get into a lot of debates with non-believers or you know, atheists and stuff like that, yeah. and they just bring up all sorts of stuff from the Bible out of context. Right. You know what I mean? They, they, you know, just a bunch of lot of lot of things just misconstrued. They don't know what they're talking about. You know what I mean? If you if you want to know God. Call on God, I ask him, you know what I mean? Like, yo, is this true? God, is this, are you real? If you just ask that question, I feel like a lot of people don't ask that question. They ask it me. Right, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, how you know God's real? Yeah, yeah. I know God's real, because I asked him. Right. You know what I mean? So, you, you know what I mean? So, so for, for all my friends, all people that follow me, they're like, yo, what is, what is he doing? Like, is he in a cult? Is he, you know what I mean? Yep. You ask God for yourself, and he'll show up. Yep, amen, man. <laughs> Hey, shout out to that. He just preached to you right now. He just dropped some gems in your life because it's a true story, man. You know, I, I tell that to, to everyone who asks me as well. You know what I mean? How's this walk with your life in Christ? I'm like, yo, dude, God revealed himself to me and he's going to reveal himself to you in a totally different way. You know what I mean? God is going to speak to me one way and he's going to speak to you in a different way. You know what I'm saying? But God has an, he's an expert in knowing how to speak to people and how to reach to you in wherever state of life you're in. The same way he did it with him, he did it with me, and he did it with a lot of other people. But I, 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 I totally agree with that, you know? If you have questions about faith, about God, ask God, and trust me, I guarantee you like a thousand percent that God is gonna answer you and he's gonna reveal to you just the way he did in my life and just the way he did in C4's life, you know? But dude, I'm, um, like I said, I'm excited about this new project. I can't wait. I can't wait, bro, to, to see what's going on. I want to continue to break bread with you and we can see the progress. We got to get another interview going on to about that project. Hit me up, bro. You know, let me know if you want to do something based on that project and we can do another segment specifically for that for that project and and you know how it's been going within a week of it being released or whatnot, you know? Um so we're we're good with that. And again, I want to thank everybody for all the people who have been watching my channel as well who've been there since day 1. If you haven't liked, subscribed yet, please do so, man, because we're going to have some hot content coming at you every other week, every week. I'm trying to just put a new segment out there, new cars, new coffee shops, new leaders, new people that are just doing big things that are not really being seen like they should be seen. And we're trying to bring them out, man. So um, bring them out, bring them out. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just want to do the whole thing. But then again, thank you for watching. Share this video, man. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell so you can be notified of the next, you know, videos that are going to be coming out. And again, here we go with another Coffee Break episode seven. Uh, episode seven. And never settle with being good when you've been meant to be great. Later. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh. Don't listen to him, dog, cause he just friend. Don't listen to him, dog, cause he just friend. Yo, coming from a city where they kill a lot, yeah.